a lot of planning and estimations in a project, but how often are you really confident about your estimation? At least I am not. Whenever I am doing a manual judgment or I am doing an estimation through using manual techniques, I am not very confident about those estimates. Yes, if I have a lot of data, I do a lot of analysis, then I feel more confident. But there's always a limitations to what I can do. As a human being, I'll be able to do maybe a little bit of simulation, but I can't do a lot of simulations and try to understand all the different ways in which the projects can go wrong. This is where the Monte Carlo simulation comes into picture. It's a technique where a software would run a thousand simulation and give you an output where you will try to understand the different variables and the different ways in which the projects can get completed, the amount of money that would be needed, and then you will be able to plan, you will be able to commit with more confidence. What you see on screen currently is a chart that shows an output of a Monte Carlo simulation. If you look at this histogram, you will see that we are trying to understand or we are trying to estimate the total project duration. Let us say, for example, okay, that the software ran around 10,000 simulation and gave us an understanding of when our project might finish. You see two lines here. One is red line, another is green line. The red line talks about P50, which means there's a 50% chance. The probability of 50% is that the project might get completed in 13.5 days. Right? The green line says that there's a 90% chance that the project might get completed in 15.5 days. So now you have an understanding that there's a range of 50% to 90% where my project would get completed between 13.5 and 15.5. Depending on the project constraints, what are the other constraints available in the project, you will be able to estimate now with much better confidence. That's what Monte Carlo simulation does. If you want to use this technique in your project, please let me know in the comment and I would do a step-by-step -step long form video so that you have a good understanding of how you can use Monte Carlo simulation through the tool that you are using or using Microsoft Excel as well. Do let me know in the comments. Thank you.